Hi, Dan Lidke here again at the National Railroad Museum. We're just standing outside our London and Northeastern 1591. And this is one of the uh, passenger coaches that was used on Eisenhower's command train, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Right now, we're just getting ready to do the exterior paint. We've had a lot of prep work done. The, yesterday, we just had the trucks repainted, so that's been done. And right now, uh, what you see on the, the sides of the cars are uh, a lot of the paint the historic paint samplings here as it's gone through its years. So the uppermost level here, the green, that was the dark green that it was painted while over here in America when these cars went over to Abilene, Kansas in uh, 1990. The, the reddish color here, the maroon, is actually the color that we're going to be focusing on when we repaint these cars. The, that is the color it was after the war, uh, after everything was done and this was converted back into a passenger car. So we're uh, as looking through this, as going through with the restoration process, we've been removing paint, we've been collecting paint samples and matching those up, as well as information from England itself about the car and uh, what the color schemes were, and photo evidence that we have when the, uh, the car was here in America, right when it came over. So, uh, as you can see, there's been a lot of work, there's a lot of sanding and grinding that had to be done, there was a lot of fill work, all this white, this fill that had to be come in. So today we'll be finishing up with the, uh, the priming and then tomorrow uh, working on getting this painted. So by the end of May here we should have the interiors of the cars painted as well as the exterior.